they show see different uh, friends and family members with different guys and goddesses. So I want you to know what kind of responsibility comes with. Oh, uh, well, if they dead, you know, they just a sleeping Buddha. There ain't no sense in even burning up no energy trying to associate them with them. If they dead, you let the sleep let the let the dead lie with the dead. And one of the most one of the most things that you can get into as far as stopping you dead in your tracks and fucking you up is when you get into this thing when it comes to family members. If you got a family member that's down, well and fine, but if you got a family member, run from them and do not make the mistake to try to turn them on to consciousness. That's a bad mistake. Because them family members will whip your ass side your head. Because if you ever want to get a person to get zombie-like, <laughs> fuck with your family members. That's, and even Dao standing back there had a tape where he talked about that on how when they want to hold you down, they'll incarnate two fucked up family members in there just to hold your life down. You see what I'm saying? That's why that family thing, if they conscious, fine. If not, run from them. But we get all sentimental trying to teach them something. You don't teach brother, sister, mama, none of them nothing. A king is without honor in his own home. You see what I'm saying? So you might love them, but don't make that mistake. The family member is the buck stops here when it comes to them. Because it'll have you crazy. And, and, by, and it's interesting because I was in a lecture one time and a girl was kept crying and crying and crying. And I'm like, what? She said, we had an aunt that would say all that shit you saying. And we thought she was crazy, and we got on her so bad and called her crazy, so one day she did go crazy. Family is fucked up. That's the most fucked up shit you got down here, family. <laughs> Your family is the people in this damn room. The people on the frequency, but not a person who just came through an incarnation to get down here with some just some genetic shit wrapped around slime. Family is fucked up. You see what I'm saying? You shouldn't. Deal with them no more than you can spit out. They say, do not count yourself amongst them. You see what I'm saying? Now you might be lucky to have some brothers and sisters. There might be some things like that in a certain lot of consciousness. But that's rare. Usually it's one per every 20 niggas walking around your neighborhood. At the, at the, at the family reunion eating them damn hamburgers and them hot dogs. You be the only one. Maybe two. From another distant part of the thing. You see, so that's one thing. So don't waste this energy with the, little, with the slime and the garbage that you call your brothers and sisters and your mama and your daddy. Oh. Might just be scum. You see what I'm saying? And you ain't never figured out. That's why you fucked up. You ain't figured it out yet. Because you still trying to get your family down with it. And that's not what it was. You just incarnated in there to get down on this planet. But it don't necessarily mean they're your brothers and sisters. There are your brothers and sisters, let's say, from 1 to 18 in the rearing process. And then after that, them fucking strangers. Uh -huh. <laughs> them strangers. First thing you do, you die, you leave your money to them assholes, and they go through it in a month. <laughs> One nigga left his damn, left his brother... $50,000. He drunk it up in a year. That nigga drunk $50,000 up in that year. You say that's impossible. No, you must don't know niggas. That's another invention. I just mad I wasn't along with the party. That nigga must have had a Rick James shit going on. I'm just mad I didn't get down with that Rick James party. That nigga drunk that $50,000. He, he had some fun doing it. He might not remember it. But that could have been a hell of a party. <laughs>